All right. Hey, I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I've got a powerful, powerful word that I want to share with you today. It's going to be a very encouraging word. It's going to be an educational word. It's going to mainly be an equipping word from the Lord to, to really help you to help you keep moving forward. A lot of people ask me all the time, Joe, what is the main thing? If you could sum it up into one phrase that you do, I help people move forward. As an apostle, I want to help people move forward in, in, in their walk with God, most of all, in, in their their ministry, their marriage, their their life, their parenting, everything. I want to help people move forward, okay? So I want to give you a word today that's going to do just that. It's going to help you move forward. The title of this is No Weapon, okay? So let's get into the word. This is Isaiah 54, 17. Now, you know what it says. It says, No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Now, let's go back into that first part. It says, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Well, let's look at it. The word said, no weapon formed against you, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. But what is that actually saying? It is saying that weapons will be formed against you, but they're not going to prosper. See, where we get confused as believers and Christians is so many people will call me Apostle Joe, man. I got people in my city coming against me. Of course you do. I got people coming against me in my church. Well, of course you do. If someone is starting a new business in a city, all the other businesses that view them as competition are going to come against them. They will verbally try to assassinate them. They will verbally come against them. Those are weapons. But the Bible says that the weapons will not prosper. The word never said that the weapons would not be formed. No, no, no. See, when, when a weapon is pointing at us, it, it is made to bring fear. It is made to scare us, to intimidate us. Weapons are always going to be formed by the enemy and by people. And I hate to say it, but a lot of the times the verbal accusations that come against you are from family members and friends. They're people that are close to you. They're going to come against you. But the Bible says that the verbal onslaught that they bring against you, that they're not going to prosper but they will be formed. You know, there's so many times in my life when I've, I've had attacks, I've had physical attacks coming against me, financial attacks. I've had different people, people that I thought were spiritual mentors, spiritual sons come against me. But you know, even though they formed weapons uh, against me, they even would try to create ideology in different people's minds. People, when when they say that they can't control you, they will try to control the way people think about you. And what will happen is the enemy will use people, okay? The enemy will use people to try to come in and form weapons around you and bring fear, intimidation to back you up. But I'm here to tell you today, weapons will be formed against you, but they will not prosper. I know so many times in my wife and I have been married for 18 years come this Sunday. We've had a financial situation come up and oh, we, we sat back and we're like, oh Lord, what are we going to do? Well, we haven't missed a bill in 18 years. He's always been faithful. The Lord has told us to extend, to, to step out, to, to do a new ministry, to do a new project, maybe to go on a vacation that we didn't think we could afford, and fear tried to come in. You know what? We, we did it, and God provided everything. You know, there's times that both of us have had physical infirmities, and we, we go to the doctor, and the doctor would give us all these negative reports, and, and fear tried to come in. And, you know, we would say, no, this infirmity may be a weapon of the enemy, pointed right at us. It is upon us, it feels, but it will not prosper. Every single one of those has been broken off of our life. There's been times that toxic people tried to attach to us, but you know what? We, we broke those. We weren't going to allow the enemy. See, God uses people to bless you. The enemy uses people to curse you. You, you got to watch who you run with. Now let's go on. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Once again, 
that did not say there would be no weapon ever formed against you. Weapons will be formed against you daily, but they're not going to prosper. Then it says, and every tongue which rises up against you in judgment, you shall condemn. I'm telling you, people, when they rise up against you, you don't have to backlash. You don't have to, you don't have to fight them. You don't have to verbally defend yourself. God is the great defender. God is the one that defends you. I love the story in, in, in Second Chronicles, you know, uh, about Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat was just doing what kings do. He was doing his king stuff. And three different servants came and said, we've spotted three different enemies that are coming against you. Do, do we need to call the, the army, the navy, the air force, the marines, I mean, the coast guard, what do we need to do? And, and he said, no, no, we're, we're going to fast and pray. And the Bible says that he called a nation to fast and pray. And then the Lord told him to go stand by a brook and just worship. Well, all three of the armies just were destroyed right in front of his eyes. And he didn't do anything. But then it took 72 hours to go bring in all the spoils. See, John 10, 10 says, The enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy, which means he forms weapons against you. Okay? It says, But God came to give you life, life more abundantly. But, so, the enemy came to, to make weapons against you, but they're not going to prosper because God has called you to be abundant. You got that? Man, I'm telling you, man, this is this is good stuff right here. This is good stuff. Now, and then it says, this is the heritage of the servant of the Lord. There is so much protection from God. There's so much protection in the things of the Lord. What you must understand is there is so much power in God. The Bible even calls the word of God the sword. So whenever the enemy rises up against you, you've got to fight with the word of God. You've got to fight with the word of God. And, and the enemy will, will come over and over and over at you he will he will, will will come at you and he will come at you he'll try to come at you and, and and get you away from your quiet time with the lord he will come in and and he will try to bring physical infirmity he will bring people against you he, he will bring all types of things if the enemy can't get you to quit he will try to slow you down uh, some some of you are so persistent in the things of god i commend you but you've allowed the enemy to come in and slow you down. My, my wife and I, we, we live in a neighborhood that we like to walk in and stuff. And there's a few of our neighbors that's got dogs. They got dogs behind fences. One of them got a little chihuahua demon dog behind a fence. And this little dog will run up at you and just bark. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Well, the first time he barked it, I kind of jumped back because I heard this dog bark. And then I look over there, the dude's pint size. He's about the size of my shoe. And, you know, he, he can't even get to me. It's like a dog that can't even get to me. It, it, it's a weapon, but it's not going to prosper against me. Is that making sense? It will run right up against you. It will run right up, but it can't do anything to you. So many times in life, we worry about so many things that will never actually take place in our life. We, we got to understand the enemy will rise up against us. He will bring threats, but he will not prosper. The people who are coming against you will not prosper. Why? Because the word says, the word says that thou shalt not touch thine anointed and do thy prophets no harm. When you are doing the things of the Lord, you must realize that the things the enemy brings will not prosper. So you keep doing what you're doing. Remember what this says, that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Weapons are going to form, like I said. People are going to come against you. People are going to plot against you. The enemy's going to try to bring different things against you. He's going to try to bring in financial calamity, people ganging up on you, verbally trying to, to, to come after you, threaten you, bully you. If you're in a church and you're moving after the things of God and they don't want that to, they're going to try to come against you, form committees against you, whatever it may be. But I'm telling you, you need to keep going after the things of the Lord. Do not allow any of this to slow you down, to scare you, to worry you, to bother you. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And then it says everybody that rises up against you, they're going to fall. You will soon get the reputation of don't come against that person. Don't come against that woman of God. Don't come against that child of God. Because everybody who does, they're, they're, they're condemned and they fall. Man, I hope this helped you. If this helped you, please go ahead and share this right now. I'm about to get off. But if you want more information about what my wife and I do, you can go to jojodawson.net and check everything out on the web. Love y'all. 
I hope this helped. God bless.